Welcome to the Superhuman Project. We have quite the day ahead of us because we're always trying to bring new innovative flavors to the marketplace. I just Googled how much caffeine can kill you because I'm pretty sure we're in our, like our 54th sample of the day. This is only a fraction of what we sample, but we're doing it because of Kaizen and because we love you guys. All right guys, we just had about a thousand milligrams of caffeine sampling a bunch of V2 versions of Superhuman pre-workout. And I'm here today with the CEO of Cavs, AKA the Vanilla Gorilla. He is Vanilla Elf Lion's VP of Science and he's gonna take us through his leg workout because the man has some massive quads and even bigger calves. I think your calves are a little more impressive. Yeah, I get that a lot. Um, That's rock solid. He's gonna share his secrets and this is gonna be a very like outside the box leg workout, right? Yeah, I mean it'll be things you may have seen many places, but just how they're strung together is very methodical. There's no one perfect way of training. It's this approach I've taken over the years, perfected it, and it works well for me and I'm always open to new things too. But I think a thousand milligrams may be an understatement, the amateurs. <laughs> I've been at this an extra day, so I'm still cruising high, but we're excited hey, to tear into this. Am I gonna survive today, you think? No. Absolutely. The point is I want the movement executed properly under control and working the muscle, not moving the weight. How many working sets are we doing in this? Four. So probably the first two will be lighter. Anywhere yeah. it's all the 15 reps, get nice and going, get used to the machine, get the muscle contracting hard, get some blood in, then we'll go to work. Full extension, hard squeeze. Full extension, hard squeeze. Good, nice and smooth, full squeeze at the top. We're getting blasted with Comments and questions like this. We say that you can just drink a cup of coffee and it's the same damn thing as a pre-workout. What are your thoughts? Well, in terms of that, I will start and say the first and foremost, Andrew drinks coffee, the common component is caffeine. Caffeine in itself is a performance enhancer. It has data for healthy energy, focus, strength and power output, athletic performance, and increasing states of wakefulness, even in sleep-derived people. Those are all great things that will help your training. However, what you get with the pre-workout is other things that help enhance nutrient delivery and blood flow, strength and power output, enhancing your overall recovery, and there's a lot of parameters going on just the caffeine content. Is taking coffee or energy drink incorrect? Not necessarily. You're just selling yourself short from all the other potential benefits you can get from using like something like a pre-workout. It's a more complete, well-rounded approach. 11, good, one more, 12, boom. What's the most common leg day mistake that you see? People training like little that's it. Aside from that, just training with intensity. I mean, think of it this way, and a lot of times people want to bring up their legs, but the problem is, and it's very blunt, legs are hard, hard work. Think of your best muscle group versus your worst. How hard do you train your favorite muscle group versus how hard do you train your legs? Leg day should be uncomfortable, but if most people want to truly bring up their legs, it's a, it's a lot of hard work, a lot of consistency, and a lot of time, you know, people don't want to put in. They're going to be sore, you're going to suck the walk. Stairs aren't your friend, but it's just plain that. People just training with intensity and consistency. Moving on to hack squats now, right? Yes. And this move essentially will mimic a front squat. It's going to be a very quad dominant move. Well, heavily quad dominant. This one, depending on where you have your feet position, most people are going to get the most benefit for bringing up that outer quad sweep. I tend to do a slightly beyond shoulder width, toes slightly out. Over time, with too much outer stuff, I'll start to get hip overworking. Uh -huh. That can tax your knees. Pre plan, drive the heels, keep the quads low the whole time. Good, beautiful. One more. Dig. Up, 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 up. Good. Papa Troy's home. Hell oh, yeah. Good. Look at that bicep pump. Beauty. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has to know he did two sets of curls before he did the set, so he looks right. juicy. Good. <sighs> Let's talk more lifting. Come on. Up, 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 up. Hey, two more. Come on, dig. Come on, that's okay. That's okay. One more. Drive. Up, 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 up. Good. Good. Yeah. These are perfect reps. Constant tension. Beautiful. What's the number one thing to avoid on like a leg press movement, leg press machine, anything like this? Two things, and they're very huge and very quick. One, don't ever lock out your knees. You're asking for an injury and you're gonna go snap city. The other part two is lower your ego. Move in a full range of motion. Work the muscle, don't just move the weight. Nobody's impressed by you taking every 45 in the gym to do quarter reps. Or the 55. Oh, dang it. Oh. <laughs> there you go, come on. Right here. Real elf lions, hitting like part of it. Any other muscle group, baby. Here we go, come on. Oh, that. 
Look at that, not locking out his knees, constant tension on the quads. That's what they call him the vanilla quadzilla. Come on. I can't, I can't. Come on. You're There's right. a four letter uh, word we don't uh, use. Sorry. It begins with a C, it ends with T. It, it has an N. C4. And that word just can't. It was C4. Come on. Come on, let's go. This ain't a bucked up video, let's oh, go. Damn it, Drew, you're breathing in my face. It's distracting. Come on, bucked up, sponsored after, let's go. Uh, okay, I'm tapping out. Come on, don't dive bomb. Control. There we go. Good. I feel like I shit my glutes. Come on. Come on. Boom. That's 13. Beauty. That's when you're gonna get a lot more of the, of the medial quads, especially where your feet are. Same application. The higher your feet go, the more glutes and hammy, as the name would indicate. The lower, the more quad dominant you get. Who's train, like, train with Drew more often. Breathe. All the way up, all the way down. Come on, be smooth. All the way down. Good. Are you touching the machine? A little bit. Okay. You saw him, no, that fucking strong. Watch, this okay. machine has a lot of resistance. Yeah, this well, what's the science behind salt increasing your muscle pump? I know a lot of people say drink salt water, put salt on a pre-workout meal. Any science behind it? No, absolutely. Salt's one of the main electrolytes that affects hydration. If you're dehydrated, your muscle pumps are going to suck. I don't care how good your pump product is, how many pumping rates you have. If your muscle's not adequately hydrated with the electrolytes, it's not going to function properly or have the correct amount of fluid. Salt helps draw water into the muscle cell. Full muscles are happy muscles and maximize best pumps. But it's also going to maximize muscle contraction and performance. I feel a lot right here. Very outer quad yeah, specific move, closer, which is good. Yeah, if you bring your feet closer, it gets that nice medial, so that'd be focus on it. It took a second to Arnold. He looks amazing. I think he looks insane though. Like his aesthetic. They're very low. Oh, okay. okay. That's low right there. Look at that. Oh, Prime. Oh, it's a motion. Mm. A couple, couple more cracks. Mm. More cracks. Mm. I usually hold two. I see some people do one. I do one. Yeah, no, like, I like one. to normally do a heavier weight on one side. That way, if I need like stabilizer or whatever from right in here, I kind of like balance. I hold offset. So you hold the on the inner part. Yeah, you can do either way. Okay. We did jump squats after that. Hell oh, yeah. Of course, at Elfline.com, we got you covered. We have a pre-workout for every fitness goal, every caffeine tolerance. We take all the guesswork out of it. So make sure you guys subscribe, and we'll see you on an upcoming video real soon.